So in our previous video, we set up a Raspberry Pi to share files between devices connected within our network and to connect to our Pi, we used an IP address, but that IP address is a dynamic IP, meaning that after a set amount of time, it will expire, it will change. And whenever that happens, we have to log into our router and check what IP address has been assigned to it. But we are not going to do that. That is a very tedious and time consuming task. What we are going to do is assign a static IP so that its IP address remains permanent uh, until and unless we change it ourselves. Okay, so now we're going to log into our file. Enter your password. Okay, before we proceed and set a static IP for our Pi, we're going to do one additional change that is change our Pi's host name. So by default, our host name over here after the add symbol is Ubuntu. So we're going to change our host name. Well, <coughs> what the host name does is it it is a label that is used to identify your device on a network so we don't want ubuntu we're going to change it to something more uh, similar so we're going to edit the host name file that is in your etc directory and you're going to need root access to change it host name and let's change it to pipe boy and go ahead and control o enter then control exit okay for to change the static ip we're going to go ahead and change the configuration file that is in your netplan directory netplan is the new command line utility that is used to manage network settings in ubuntu so depending on your distribution uh, your file in your netplan directory could be different go ahead and press enter and I'm going to delete these two files oh. okay so now we are going to <clears throat> This will be the static IP that you will give to your Pi. So we are using a Pi 4, so we're going to do, go with 10.4. And then go ahead and tell it your gateway IP, which is your router's IP. 10.1. And now the name servers. okay that's it uh, <clears throat> the this last section the name servers uh, they are they allow us to configure the dns server that our pi will use up will use to look up external domain names okay so go ahead and hit control o enter then control exit now for the changes to take effect for the host name to change and uh, for our static ip to set we are going to reboot our pi okay so that's it the let's wait a few seconds for the pi to fully reboot okay so now our pi has rebooted and now we're going to ping our pi with its new static ip and okay now we are pinging so that's good that's good Let's close this <coughs> and go ahead and connect to our Pi with its new IP. And enter your password. And here we are. 
look at that now <clears throat> with our new static ip and our new username so that's it it was fairly easy to set up a new host name and to give our fire static ip and that's it that's how you assign a static ip for your raspberry pi it, uh, it's fairly simple straightforward so if you like today's video if you learned something new please go ahead and subscribe to the channel and hit that bell notification so you don't miss any upcoming content and i will see you in the next one